Hello and welcome to all you cool kids. Welcome back to my channel. So here we are again, another day, another junk journal project. You guys already know I go live Monday to Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time doing junk journal related things and projects. So if that's what you're into, do hit that subscribe button and that like button. It lets me know that you care. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I am going to be, hi Maggie, welcome. I'm going to be making little embellishments from the two mystery boxes. I have more than two mystery boxes, but these mystery boxes that are in my shop, which consist of uh, some flower, some uh, mini photos. So these are about two inches by about an inch and then some little flowers. So both of these are in my shop, you guys. I appreciate your support, but that's what we're going to be working with today. I'm actually not going to open these. I'm going to be working with my own little stash, but... You get 50 of these flowers, and there's way more than 50 in here. I just kind of stuffed them, made sure that they were kind of all the same thickness, and I just stuffed them in here. So there's way more than 50 flowers in here, um, but minimum of 50. Um, and then in these little faux, uh, hey, Patricia, welcome, girl, and hi, Elisa. And in these little, um, let me see if I have the link for that. I think this is the link for the video. Yeah, there it is. I'll just leave that there so you guys can check that out. The um, the photos, let me see, I can't remember how, how much those come with. Oh my gosh. The little photos come with, how many of them? boxes. Okay, so the little photos come with, oh, 50. So you get 50 of these little photos also. And of course, my shop's on sale right now, so do check it out. And I think I'm going to use a piece of book paper because I have a lot of this book paper and I'm really trying to use it up. Hi, Erin, and hi, Carol. So I'm trying to use it up. So I think I'm going to try and kind of like collage on a piece of this. You know what I mean? I think that's what I'm going to do. So I have my little sewing machine because you guys know I don't glue. So I'm not going to glue anything here. That's just my choice. And then, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of this book paper down as kind of the background. And I have tons of this paper to it. I might do a mystery box of just scrap paper. I don't know if anybody's interested, but I'll do it. So I'm just going to cut off parts. It doesn't even matter what size they are. Let's do that just like this and then I'm gonna put a picture down for all of them some of the pictures are horizontal some of them are vertical some of them feature kids some of them feature adults and women so there's just a bunch of them you get 50 little photos they are so cute <laughs> okay and then just gonna try and make this really easy for myself. I'm not going for anything difficult. I have my little flowers, my little die cut flowers, and I'm just gonna place them behind the photos like that. Wherever I think they kind of go together, like that a little bit. So I have this one. I need bigger flowers. Let's see. Oh, there's this pretty flower right here. That can go right here. And then do I have this pretty pink and yellow flower? I love this one. This is one of my favorite flowers right here. And this will be right here. So I'm trying to figure out where I would go best. Sometimes I like to interlock them there, like with that little leaf. And this will go right here. We have this pink flower. might be a little too big. Yeah, it's a little too big. I have several sizes. If I have to break open a pack of flowers, I guess I will. <laughs> so this will go right here. 
Okay, so those are, that's it right there for the, these embellishments. They're going to be really simple. So let me get to my sewing machine here. And I'm just going to use a zigzag stitch. And I'm just going to use a zigzag stitch to stitch around the, the picture so that it kind of holds to everything. So start over here. Oh, I didn't look for my foot. Okay, here's my little foot. Okay, so just zigzag. And I'm just using a uh, white thread. I thought it'd show up a little bit more. Maybe I'll switch the thread. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so here is that little collage. And I think it looks pretty with the little book paper in the back. So that way I use up some of this book paper. Because I have no idea what else to do with it. So I think I like that. Let's go on with the next one. This one will be kind of crooked. But I like that too. And I'm just going to use this to decorate pages, stick in the corner of a page. I'm not planning on um, making these into tuck spots. I could, maybe if this paper was a little bit more thicker, but it's really not. So they'll just be decorations. Could always cut off some of this book paper if it, I need to eventually. If it doesn't fit my page. So here's this one right here. Just pretty simple with the book paper. One of the flowers and one of the little photos. It just looks so cute. Maybe I'll put it this way. That might be cute too. These are looking so cute. You could also put these together just with the flower, you know, just like this. But I wanted to use up some of these book papers <laughs> that I have. So it's like, let's just use them up right here is the perfect time. Just really, really simple embellishments. I love. right here so this little corner Really, really cute, simple embellishments. You could also um, ink the edges like other people like to do. I don't really like to ink the edges. I think I'm going to use a different thread, though. I want it to stand out a little bit more. So let me go see what other color thread I could find to use. Um, 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 um. I could use a brown. Kind of a nicer color. Yeah, let me use this brown. I'm not going to change the bobbin because I'm going to glue this down anyway, so I'm too lazy. So I'd have to make a whole bobbin. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. One second. Let me switch out my thread. Hi, 
Hi, Paper Paradise. Thanks for stopping by, though. Okay. Let's try this with the little brown thread. See what happens. Hi, Carol. Oh, that looks a lot cuter with the brown thread. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Much better. Okay, that looks cute. It just stands out a tiny bit better than the white. Just a little, just a smidge. <laughs> Makes it look a little bit more vintage. Vintage, you know. And then this one. I guess my little flower flew away. I don't know what happened to the flower. <laughs> It literally flew away. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Got other flowers. I kind of like these on their side now. Either way, it's cute, really. Sway then over here. Okay, that looks cute. And of course, you can add all sorts of things in the background here, but I kind of just like it with this piece of paper. I'm kind of into the look. So now let's put down a couple more. Literally just... Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of does bother me that they're not exactly straight. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I have enough of this stuff. Um, where'd that little board go? My little straight edge. Ah! Okay, I don't know where it is. Sucks. I have to use this. And this sucks. Hey. <laughs> I tried. I tried it. <laughs> it did not work for me. Oh, well, I don't know what else to try. I guess I'll just use this. I bought these new index cards, and they have dots on them, so I think they're maybe more for, like, Bujo, Bujo people. You know, those bullet journal people, but I just got them because I like the I, I like the idea of having a dot grid. Okay, that's a little straighter than what it was. I prefer that much better. Where is my straight edge? Though? That's so weird. I legit don't know where it is. Which is funny because I was staring at it all day today. What happened to it? I don't know. Okay, so here's some pieces. And we're going to add our little photographs. It's okay if it's a little off, if it's a little bigger than the page. Life goes on. I want to find one that's um, horizontal instead of vertical. Here's one. Hi, Amanda. Welcome to the cool kids. <laughs> okay, so this flower, let's put it right here. So you could put right there. 
again, these flowers are in my shop if you're interested. They're under the mystery boxes. I'll leave a link down below. You'll have a better selection than me because this is the bottom of the barrel here. <laughs> Might have to bust open a pack of flowers. Okay, okay, let me do that. <laughs> let me open up. This is one of the packs that is in on sale in my shop right here. And let me get this open. There's 50 flowers in here, and they're they're small, but there's 50, and they're, there's more than 50, actually. But I decided to just say 50, but I there's definitely more than 50. And these flowers are perfect for projects like this. So they're all different sizes. That'll work for these. So let's sew them together. I'm just using a zigzag stitch with brown thread. And I was lazy, so I'm using a white bobbin. <laughs> Use up those book papers wherever you can, ladies. <laughs> wherever you can. Maybe I can add another flower here. It looks a little lonely. Okay, let's do that. Get some water. It's so hot. Ah, extra dry out here <laughs> in the Las Vegas desert. Super, super extra dry. It's crispy out here, you know what I'm saying? It's crispy. <laughs> yes, I need to, yes. <laughs> I have way too many of these, specifically this book page. I have tons and tons of them. So, that is a good idea for me. I'm pretty much going to be putting in these book pages wherever I can. So, look forward to a lot of book page projects. I'll probably put up a pack of book pages in case you don't have any. Sometimes it's good to have a nice assortment. Okay, so here's this one. That flower is pretty big, so I didn't need two of them. But I kind of like the, the look of two flowers. I might go with two flowers from now on. We'll see. I don't know. So this one can go there. And then let's see if I can find another one. Let's see if I can find another one. Um, why not? Let's just do this. <laughs> why the heck not? So my thread bounced off. I don't know why. Oh, but it finished it. Good. <laughs> At least it finished it. Oh, I don't like that edge. But this is a cute look. Just add a bunch of flowers to it. Just add a bunch of flowers to it. Okay. So let me fix my thread. Okay.
second. Every time I do this, I'm like, I should learn how to use my automatic threader. And then I thread it, and then the feeling passes. <laughs> and I still have yet to learn how to use my automatic threader. I'm the worst. I know. I know, I know. Okay. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back, we're back. Okay. So this one's got a pretty big flower. I'm just going to leave this one alone. I'm going to let her be. Tension much? Tension much? You guys see how bunched up that is? Why didn't I notice that before? Wow. It looks good over here, but like on the back, it looks all sorts of bad. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, I've never even seen my machine do anything like that. Whoa. What is happening? Hang on. Hang on. Sorry, I'm like trying to look in my sewing machine. I don't know if there's anything in there. Is there a ball of thread somewhere? I don't know. Let me three thread it. I haven't changed anything up on here. Maybe the thread was too tight. I don't know. Let's do it again. <laughs> I had not noticed that. I decided to. Okay. And we're in. Okay. I'm going to put the bobbin back. Ah, technical difficulties. These. No, I don't. Yeah, I'll glue them down to the page. Yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> there I will. Okay. So we need to make more of them. Let me make sure this is sewing correctly, though, because, oh, my goodness. I don't know what that was all about. Okay. That <laughs> it's night and day, you guys. Night and day here. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what happened. But this, this is what sewing machines do sometimes. Just, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to get another piece of scrap paper. I'm still looking for that straight edge that I normally use. I don't know where it is. I don't know what I did with it. It is gone. <laughs> Always. Okay. Okay, okay. I thought I seen you, but I didn't. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm just using this kind of as a straight edge. And I'm going to make my papers a little bit thicker than I did the last time. Just a little bit. Okay, we're down here, sorry. <laughs> okay. So we got these pieces here. Again, I'm going to put the photos down. Move it off to, I kind of like to make some of them like a little tilted a little bit like that. Looks cute. It's a cute look. Okay, here's a nice little flower here for this one. 
pretty big, but that's okay. And then, and then, this rose, and we can do, let's see, this little yellow flower down here. Why not? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I cannot explain this. Because it's not the tension. I think my thread up there was too tight. I think I like put it too tight somehow. I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, it looks good on the front. It's just a mess on the back. I don't know. <laughs> I heard it happens sometimes. The first time. I've never seen my thread do that. I don't think I have. So I'm just looking through these little flowers here. And of course, I also have these flowers in my shop as a printable. So you can print them out. And if you want to fussy cut them out yourself, uh, you can. That is an option. So that'll look cute right there, and then let's do this one. That would look cute. Maybe if I had something yellow. Where's that yellow flower? I already used it. I like how I started doing this because I was out of flowers. I made them all into packs and I'm out of flowers again. <laughs> it's a cycle, but, but you gotta love that scan and cut. If you guys don't have a scan and cut, that's how I make my little flowers. Look into it. Look into it. When you're thread, when you thread your machine, make sure the foot is up position. That could be it. Could have been. Something was like tight. You know when I pulled your thread from back here, it just felt really tight. So perhaps you are correct. So let's do... I'd like to make the flower straight and then make the the picture a little offset. So I'm trying to decide. And I guess I'll just make this one straight. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> much, much better. So these are really super easy embellishments you can do. Break out those book papers. You can also print out a set of these flowers if you don't want to buy them. You can print them out yourself. They're in my shop. Um, these are basically printed at four pages on one page. That's why I printed these so small. You can set your printer to do that. Print out four pages on one. It's just ba it basically just shrinks them down and they look so cute. Grab a stack of photo paper and print them out. They look adorable. Now I have to check the back to make sure. <laughs> I've never had to check the back, but now I'm over here checking it out. That looks good. I'm trying to see. 
me see my camera settings. Am I okay? Hang on. Let me get some water. Mm. It's so hot. Like, my throat feels so dry, you guys. Like, super dry. There's that one. We got two more to do here. You guys know I like doing easy stuff. It kind of builds up your little stash for whenever you're ready to make a journal. I'm going to get ready to make journals soon. So I need a couple embellishments. I know I need to make a journal for, I want to make a journal for um, Irina. And I also want to make some prayer journals, so I'm trying to get some things like that ready. I'll probably work on those embellish some embellishments for that tomorrow. But like I said, sometimes I just like to break out and do something a little bit different. Even though I know I need to work on these um, prayer journals. <laughs> to do different things sometimes, just like switch it up a little bit, you know? Let's see. Gotta look there. that one so in like half hour i've already made at least a dozen one two three four five six seven eight, nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen the thread cutter on the side of my sewing machine doesn't cut oh no <laughs> that's the one function i know how to use on this sewing machine <laughs> okay so let's make a couple more of these of these sis. I am just working with whatever width this is. This is the book paper that um, had those um, botanical images on the side. So I like cut off half the paper. Half the paper was the embellishment. I mean the botanical photos. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Can't talk. Okay. Got a book paper. This is gonna make a lot of them. Let's figure out what we're going to do here. Got our little photos. I'm going to do these ones all like this. Why not? I could even cut them to be banners. I think that would be kind of cute. Make them kind of like a banner shape. It's a quick way to do something with scraps too. They always go, they always make good banners, those scraps. <laughs> See banner shape here. Get a thick photo. Okay, these will all be banners, I just decided. 
Okay. And bam, they're all batters. Bam. Right there. Some of them can be sideways, some of them can be, you know, up and down. It'll work either way. Okay, now we have banners. Yay, her banners. Awesome. Okay. So now these will look a little bit different than the ones we had before, so that's good. I prefer that. Gotta kind of make yourself a little bit variations here and there, so that it doesn't all look the same. I mean, they're they are kind of the same thing, <laughs> but you gotta give yourself a nice little variation. Okay, so now that I have these, let me get some chapstick. Oh my gosh, it's so dry here. My throat feels dry, like really dry. <laughs> okay, one moment. Okay. Okay, okay, we're back. Since there's a lot of space here, I can use some bigger flowers. So that is good. That's a good thing. And it won't impede with the photo. Just keep adding flowers around. This one's going to need another one. Not really. Not really feeling it. Maybe this pink one can go good here. But this will be better. I think, yeah, those will be better with that. Okay. Good. We're going. We're going. You guys know I like to add flowers to everything. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is about me. <laughs> Got to add flowers to everything. This one. Okay. I'm living. I'm living. See. <laughs> Like I said, I started off making these flowers because I didn't have any more, and then I put them all into packs, and now I don't have any more still. Like, <laughs> Okay, we're all done laying these out, so now we get to sew them. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I like that laugh track, you know, where it's a bunch of kids going, yay! I like, I don't know, I don't have that sound effect, but I like it. Okay, so... Right here. Now I'm still using that brown thread. Shows up a little bit, a little bit better with the brown in my in my head, anyways. See it a little bit better. Nice little flag shape. I'm into it. Let's do this girl right here, this little lady.
She's super cute. Of course, I cut off the thread there, and that's adorable. Okay. Let's do this lady. Okay, that'll just go like that. So I want to add something else. Yeah, let's just do those two. Those would look cute. Okay, right there. Right there. using the smallest I'm using kind of a little bit longer uh, zigzag stitch that looks cute I like the little banner shape I think that makes it a little bit interesting it makes it look like I did a little bit different than these even though it's kind of the same thing just like I said gives you a little bit variation a little bit a little bit Then have this round flower over here. You can add it like that. Then okay. Hi Caitlin. Welcome, welcome. They don't have to be perfect. Don't stress about it, you guys. It's okay. These are just really simple ideas. You guys know I like to do simple, easy projects that I can do within an hour that, I, that are just really simple. And this is just one of them. This is just one of them here. And, and I guess I like this flower a lot. I'm putting it everywhere. It's going everywhere. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, okay. Looks good. Going so, okay, I'm getting my this foot's getting on my nerves. <laughs> the the sewing machine pedal foot thing, it's getting on my nerves. It's like slipping and sliding. I saw some hack that like if you put one of those like shelf liners underneath it, it like stays because <laughs> it's like rubber. Buy paper possum. I know I should say hydrated. Thanks for the tip, girl. I will. <laughs> It's hot out here. It's hot out. It's hot out here for a lady, you know. It's just a little too hot, man. Okay, so oh my goodness, those poor people in uh, what happened in New York last night or the other night, two nights ago, without electricity, it is too hot for that right now. The hottest week of the month, you guys. Come on. Get it together. 
I, I usually, I'm not going to lie, sometimes we do have uh, blackouts here too. As in my little neighborhood because it's a vintage mobile home. <laughs> I call it vintage because it sounds nicer. But it's a mobile home house uh, community. community. And um, sometimes the lights do go out during the summer. It's the worst part. Hasn't happened yet, so I'm crossing my fingers. <laughs> Crossing my fingers, nobody runs into any boxes. <laughs> you guys know that's when it happens sometimes. You run into those electric boxes, and but I have no AC. It's too hot. It's too hot for that. Yeah, my I, I like to call it my vintage mobile home. <laughs> mm. But I'm lucky. They redid this whole place, so it looks like it would have had, you know, those wooden panel walls, but it doesn't. It's like white walls, stucco walls, whatever you want to call them. So I'm happy with it. I think if I had wooden walls, I'd paint them white. I'm so boring. I just like white paint everywhere. Picking out colors and all that's too stressful for me. Just paint it white. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm terrible at decorating. Are you guys good at decorating, like, your house? Because I'm not. I don't decorate. I've never decorated any of my houses. I'm just not a decorating person. Looking cute. Looking cute. We're almost done with these banners here. I'm going to shrink them down a little bit. And you guys could totally just glue this down, but I sew everything together. I like to decorate. Um, am I good, though? That's a question. <laughs> I remember back in the days, my mom used to um, order from those catalogs. So, you know, we all had the same, like, bare photo picture painting up on our walls. Me and all my cousins. It was kind of funny. <laughs> and my mom would try and decorate my room, and I'd just be like, please don't. Like, just, just don't. <laughs> I know, I just, it's so stressful to me to decorate a house. I don't know why. Like, I'll decorate a two-by-two two square, no problem. But a whole house, I don't know. <laughs> I get, I get lost in all the options, I guess. Let's see, let's see. Yellow flower. Too many options, I think. <laughs> this will look cute right here. But yeah, I am not a decorating. I'm literally no decorating. <laughs> Like, I, I, you know, I did that collage on my wall because, you know, it's my little trailer, so why not? <laughs> why not stick a bunch of paper to glue to the wall? Why not? <laughs> That's as far as decorating as I go. So that is cute. I can do just a couple more before the time runs out. But, I mean, I've already got a nice stash going on here. Super quick project. Fun to do. Fun for the whole family. <laughs> Have your kids rip up the paper for you. I don't know. <laughs> yes, there's too many options. I don't know. I don't feel like this is... This is much easier for me to do than decorate a house. That's too, I don't know. So stressful. <laughs> Why 
because it got to be so stressful. I'm going back to that little like piece, just a little junky piece of paper. Just a little piece of junk, you know. Mm -hmm. That's too big. Too big. That'll look cute right there. Why not? You did a collage on your wall. Yes, I did a collage on my wall. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Oh, God. Let's see. Hang on. I'm going to try. <laughs> How do I do this again? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, I got to pull some. <laughs> I don't even know if I could do it. I don't even know. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay, now you can see the wall. You see the wall back there? Yes, that is my collaged wall. Let me turn on the lights. This is the wall that I collaged. So I printed out all of my ephemera packs. Um on paper and I just literally mod podge them on my wall the whole wall from floor to ceiling like I said it's my little trailer uh so the next person can figure out how they're gonna take it off <laughs> that's not my concern right now <laughs> I've never had that luxury you know what I mean I've never had that luxury that like oh this is my place so I can do whatever I want <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just wipe Mod Posh. Just wipe my Mod Posh. Okay. Let's finish off these little pictures here. Thank you, guys. It is it is a very inspiring to me to have that wall there. I'm not going to lie. That I almost wanted to do the whole room, but it's kind of more like an accent wall. So I've heard that term. <laughs> I've heard that term thrown around, accent wall. <laughs> so I'm going to say that's my accent wall. <laughs> it sounds about right. <laughs> that's as far as decorating as I ever got in this house or in any house, really. But like I said, I said, you know what? It's my little, uh, my little trailer. I'm going to do whatever I want. <laughs> okay, so that goes there. Okay, so let's get these a <laughs> great wall of these. <laughs> you guys are too much. <laughs> Hi, Sass. Welcome, girl. Welcome. Okay. So let's just get these on here. I remember once when I was, I think I was 14, I like attempted to decorate my room with tropical Skittle packets. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. I got like tropical Skittle packets and like started like gluing them or I can't remember if I taped them or what did I do? I don't even staple them. I don't know, but I put them like all around the border of my room. I don't, is that decoration? I guess. <laughs> I guess that's decor, <laughs> uh, but not really. And then I tried to paint like a Mickey on my door. I don't know why I can't paint. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I could paint. I tried. It didn't look good. <laughs> <clears throat> but I guess that star, that uh, Skittles ordeal was the start of this wall. <laughs> I was like, I have to do something to this wall. It's so boring. <laughs> okay. So there's my little scrap piece of book paper. Literally, I'm just going to put this in the corner of a journal page or like an index card. Or I don't know what we'll do. We're going to do something with these. You'll see. You'll have to come back in three months to figure it out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes it does take me a while to figure out what am I actually going to do with this. But hey, that's okay. Okay. 
It's not a race. <laughs> Sounds a little offset, but hey, that's okay. It's a junk journal. It's okay. Nothing has to be straight or perfect or anything like that. Which is why I love junk journaling. And we're all done for today, you guys. This was a lot of fun, though. Super easy project, you guys already know. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. <laughs> That's the motto of my channel. I decided. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Gotta get to it, Sass, before you run out. So we did, I did a lot of work here. It was very easy to put these together. You guys can see just a little layering, three layers basically, and that's it. So you guys can definitely get going on this uh, project. I have the flowers and the little photos in my store in the mystery boxes. I'll leave the link down below. Or also you can print them out and print the flowers out and cut them out yourself. Totally up to you. Just get out some photo paper and you can print these out. They look super cute. Make them into little banner shapes. You guys, you know I have to add flowers to everything. I love, love, love flowers, you guys. I don't know why. It's not like my name is Daisy. <laughs> I'm into them, you guys. So now I have a nice little stack to decorate my next journals or whatever the heck I decide to put these on. Sometimes I'll put these on glassy bags. Sometimes I'll put them on envelopes. Sometimes just on the journal page itself. It just depends. There's so many ways that you can use these when it comes to decorating your junk journal. So thank you guys so, so much for joining me and for your support. Like I said, the links will be down below to the mystery boxes as well as the printables for the stuff that I use. So go ahead and break up those scraps of book paper and get to work, you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much, Gwen, for your support. I got your package out already. Liz, thank you, Sass. Patricia, of course, thank you for your help every time you're here. Thank you, Liz. Caitlin, let's see who else, Karina. Uh, who else, the paper possum. She was hanging out for a minute. Romaine, uh, Llewellyn, Alice. Uh, let's see who else, Amanda. Paper Puddles, thanks for saying hi. And Elisa, Carol, and Aaron. And Maggie, of course. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. I will be here tomorrow again at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you and everybody for your support. Bye, cool kids. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.